but we know that people can hear us and then we can communicate. I was here by one o'clock, I suppose, and I discovered that people are on mute. So I presume that the coordinator is um, working on the audio. So um, now that we are together now, can we bow down our head together as we pray? Almighty Father, we thank you for this moment. Thank, thank you, you because God. you are our God. You are powerful and um, there is nothing too hard for to do. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because you have given us the authority to tread upon snake and scorpion. Thank you for this privilege. Lord, we pray Thank that you. as we come to your presence this day, Lord, answer our prayers in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Let not our gathering be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because we believe it is done. In Amen. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, this afternoon, we want to pray. And we are using this theme of topic to pray. Authority over nations and kingdoms. In for uh, in Jeremiah chapter one verse ten, the Bible says, "See, I have set this day. I have this day set thee over the nations and over kingdoms to root out and to pull down." and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant if you are with me say amen 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 if you can hear okay that's that's a good one he said i have said i have this day said thee over the nations and over the kingdom. That is, authority is given unto you already. Authority over nations, authority over the physical realm, and authority over the spiritual realm. I've given you this day kingdoms. You are talking of principalities. You have authority over them. Powers, you have authority over them. Rulers of darkness, you have authority over them. Now, imagine being the judge of the nation. Imagine yeah. being the judge over, over uh, darkness. Imagine being the judge over or, or wicked territories and that you have the power to do and undo. This is the position God is putting you and me. That's why he said, I have this day set thee over the nation and over the kingdoms. If you are not benefiting from Christ, then this authority, you are not there. If you do not have relationship with him, then don't even talk about the next aspect we are going to. If you don't know your God, he also doesn't know you. There are many ways we have been far away from God. 
through our prayerlessness, we have built a barrier between us and our God. If you are a 10 minutes person in place of prayers, your dividends is 10 minutes. Your authority is 10 minutes. If you are a one hour person before your maker, your authority is limited within the time you spend with him. Some of us take pleasure in, in complaining, in talking. We find it very hard to come to the presence of God to pray. Have you ever thought about it that from today, I want to convert my aimless talking, my aimless, my all complaints. I want to turn them to prayers. Because there is not one prayer you pray that your God does not hear. And now, this aspect we are going to now is not meant for the congregations. It's not meant for everybody. But it's meant for people that can wrestle. It's meant for people that know God. It's meant for people that preach. It's meant for people that have authority. And that authority, you will use it today in the name of Jesus. And, and God will give you victory over powers, principalities, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, if you have said amen, I want you to say louder amen. Amen. I will want you to bow down your head as we go to the Lord in prayers. We want to say, Lord, I know I am far away from you. I know I have not been measuring up to your expectation. But Lord, I pray that you will have mercy on me. But Lord, I pray you will give me another chance. And Lord, if I have done anything that will hinder my prayer today, I ask Father that you will forgive me. Maybe we are supposed to praise you. I complain. Maybe we are supposed to have faith in you. I doubt you. But Lord, this is another chance. I trust in you and I believe in you. You are my father and you are my God. I believe in your supremacy. I believe in who you are. I believe that power belongs to God. I believe that man does not have a final say over my life. Oh Lord, we have confidence in you. Oh Lord, give us power belongs to you. Oh Lord, believe who God Without you, you, we are the empty vessel. Without you, we are directionless. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you as you are praying. But no. he said, I have, I, I have these days set thee over the nations and over the kingdom to root out. What are we rooting out? The deposit of the devil. What are we rooting out? The arrow that fly in the night. What are we rooting out? We are rooting out sickness. 
Mm. We are rooting out calamity. Mm. We are rooting out premature death. We are rooting out the handwriting of the wicked one. We are rooting out altars. We are throwing down kingdoms. What are we rooting out? We are rooting out every ordinance of the devil. I want you to pray and tell the Lord, anything that is in me and is not glorifying the name of the Lord in my life, I root them out by authority. Open your mouth and root it out. Because the authority is given unto you already. Anything in my life to go. Authority that over kingdom. Authority over, over nation. And so you have the authority to root out. You have the authority to pull out of my mind. I will be out of my family. I will be out of my health. I will be out of, of my authority given to you. I will be out of my job. The ability for you to rule out. I will be out to go. If you are not running out, you are not functioning in that dimension of your life. I will be out. I will be out. In the name of Jesus, who God my Father. I want you to identify what's supposed to be rooted out in you. Calamity in my family, I root it out. <laughs> <laughs> in my family, I root it out. Grace and shame, I root it out. There are a lot of things to be rooted out tonight. All you need to do is to identify what is needed to be rooted out. It is part of the authority given unto you. Root out. To root out. You better begin to root out which is in your life. You better begin to root out of that wood in your life. Begin to root out giants in your family. Somebody root them out. Somebody root them out now. Identify it and root it out. Identify it and take it out. Whatever they have done to your life in the dark, authority is here to root it out. Are you sick? You can as well root it out. In the name of God, I have in my life. Everything that has not happened in my life, everything that has not happened in my life. I will keep my life. Whatever has been rudely slave to your destiny, I'm telling you, you have the authority to rule them out. Everything has been rudely slave to your destiny, I'm telling you, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He said to root out and to pull down. We pulling down. We are pulling down altars of our father's house. 
What are we pulling now? We are pulling down structures okay. that is erected by the enemy. What are we pulling down? We are pulling down ancient covenant. I want you to pray and tell the Lord. Every order from my foundation that is projecting evil against my destiny, I pull them down. Open your mouth and pull all tabs down. There are some altars that have some right into your life. Many why they are with that altar. Altars are set up through the Some things that need the head to be destroyed because he has also given us the power to destroy. He said, I have this day set thee over the nations 
and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, and to destroy. What are we destroying? Anything that stands on your way. They stand against every positive move you take. You know some people, ah, I've dealt with the spirit before. That spirit, they call it, uh, you won't understand it in my in my language. So I, w- I will just tell it to you as a general one. They call it the image of the twin. Image of the twin. And so when they want to when they want to invoke that 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 spirit from that lineage, they will now carry that image. The image is carved out like a like a wood. So it's, it's in that wood they carve out the image. They will now turn the back of the, the two of them together. They call it image of the twin. Hmm. So this is what they used to control that family. So once they want to speak to the the family, once they want to speak to any one of them, they will hold that uh, image and call the name of, of, of that person and, and activate the spirit of the image to go and meet that person. If it is whatever the arrow is meant to be, once they say it, the, 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 the image of the twin, the, the, the spirit that, that backs up that twin, that idol, we begin to look for the, 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 the person, and we go and attack that person. Uh huh. So, what are the things we destroy? We destroy images. The, you know, some of you now. It is through that image they control. Ah, oh my God! It is through that image they used to control that person wherever he is. I heard about one of my colleagues. We 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 finished school together, and as we finished school together, she was supposed to, to because she was also one of the good ones. So she was supposed to to start work. After how many years? Uh, you know, I was discussing with my friend yesterday, and I said, "Ah, uh, what about this uh, lady now?" Ah, he said, "You did not hear." Immediately after she left school, she ran mad. Mm. And you, you, you say you have not been seeing her anywhere. It's because they quarantine her because her case is a very serious one. And so they speak into that image. The image go after them and stand with them everywhere they go to make sure that that thing is accomplished. You are going to pray. Every image that is set up against my family, set up against my, my destiny. I destroy them tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh, Please open your mouth yeah. and pray. My Father, in the name of Jesus, I destroy every image, every garment, every image that is destructive over my life. I destroy them now. And I pull them down in the name of Jesus. I destroy them now in the name of Jesus. I pull them down in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of evil, every spirit of evil, I destroy them now. 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 Whatever <laughs> Yes, 
Look at what the Bible says in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 7, verse 10. He said, And as Samuel was offering up the blood offering, the Philistines drew nigh to battle against Israel. Mm. Mm. But the Lord thundered with a great thunder <laughs> on that day upon the Philistines mm. and discomfited them, and they were smitten before Israel. We are mm. going to pray and tell the Lord, every enemy assigned to my life, to pull me down spiritually, to pull me down in everything I do. Let mm. us smite them in the Amen. name Amen. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, the people that want to Holy Ghost to release us upon the end of my head, upon the end of my head, release thunder, release thunder, release thunder, release thunder. If you have that authority in your mouth, use the authority that God has given unto you. I have this day said no more the nation. And over kingdoms. Set thee over the nations and over the kingdom to root out, to pull down, and to destroy, and to throw down, and to build. Ah, and to build. Understand that when an altar is desecrated, the enemy will begin to have their way in that altar. 
Let me quickly refresh your memory. When Jezebel entered into that territory, the first thing she did was to set up her own altar. And by so doing, since the existing altar is not functioning anymore, it began to dilapidate till the altar was broken. And so how will the rain fall when you have not rebuilt the altar? That miracle you are waiting for, how will it come to pass when there is no rain, when there is no abundance, when the miracle has not come? And so the one thing you need to do for, for the rain to fall is to build, to rebuild. And so when Elijah got there, he spot out the mistake. He spot out the error that have brought this tormentor upon us. And Elijah repaired the altar. Do you remember that it was after the altar that the rain came? Yes. Say yes, if you believe yes. that. Yes. And so he rebuilt the altar, then the rain came. And so uh, all the scarcity, all the austerity, all the hardship, as the rain came, everything subsided. And look at what the Bible says here. He said, to build and to do what? And to plant. We are going to pray tonight. You see, when your spiritual altar is broken down, a lot of things will begin to happen. Let me tell you a story of somebody. The enemy are beginning to afflict this person. The affliction was so much. She now went to God and said, I am going to pray. And, and she began to fast. I am going to pray. And I know God will answer me. Then she began the prayer. The more she began the prayer, the more she began to enjoy herself. No hmm. secrets, nothing, nothing. So she now said, uh, ah, I have fasted though. Uh, I think she had fasted about 60 or 90 days. She now said, I want to relax for 30 days. So after 30 days, I will come back again. Let me tell you something. Within that 30 days of relaxation, that problem resurfaces. <laughs> the, the, the problem started again. He now became more serious. Ah. He now said, I think I, think I will not stop this thing, though, know, because within that 90 days of my prayer, I, I can tell you that I enjoyed the riches of Christ over my life. And so she quickly returned back. Every altar that is broken down in your life. I met with someone this other day. And she said, uh -huh. what do you want me to do again? He said, in fact, I am quarreling with God. He said, because I have prayed and prayed and prayed. and prayed. Why did he answer me? If he had answered me, I will not be in this mess. Yeah. If you have prayed to a place where you have rebuilt the altar, and that altar is existing, it, look, you look at it. When Elijah rebuilt the altar, look at the prayer he prayed for the fire to fall. Do, if you read that prayer, does that prayer take one minute? No, it doesn't take one minute. When you when your altar is activated and that altar is saturated with fire, you don't have to spend ages before the fire burns. You are going to pray and tell the Lord, send revival into my life. The revival that yeah. have been broken down. The revival that have been streamlined, streamlined. You know, some of us, we only pray one hour out of the 24 hours we have. Do you know that some people do not even have one hour? They will say, ah, my work, my work, my job, my job. And I want to do it, too, but I forget. There are distractions. There are this one. There are that one. So now tell me where the altar is now. We are going to pray. Let the, let the revival fire. Let it return back to my life. Let revival fire. Let it return back to my family. Please open your mouth and pray. Revival fire. Oh God.
I ask for this by your Lord. I ask for this by your Lord. Let the fire come upon you. Revival fire. Let it burn. Revival fire. Let it burn. Revival fire. Let it burn. Let it come upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Ah, when revival comes, get the miracle comes. When revival comes, get open door comes. When revival comes, there is a move of the spirit. Lord, I pray for revival. Some of you are, my Tuesdays have many of you. We had one to cycle. Lord, they think he cannot do anything. The only thing that can do something is revival. The only thing that can do something is active altar. God is not only with the fire of your devotion. Lord, I review the altar tonight. I review the altar. I review the altar. Let revival fall. Let revival fall. Let revival fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. In the name of Jesus. Revival fire will come upon your spirit, upon your soul, and upon your body. In the name of Jesus. And your land will be flourished with miracles in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have some prayer points here, and I want us to quickly attend to uh, one or two, two of them. And then our prayer will reach on to the rest of them. Somebody say, pray for me to get perfect healing, to be able to serve God Almighty sincerely with uh, enthusiasm, with consecration, all through my life. This person is praying for perfect healing. Perfect healing. We are going to pray and tell the Lord that the healing virtue from on high will come upon this person now and that person Amen. will be totally healed in the name of Jesus. Please open Amen. your mouth and begin to pray for this person. The Lord will strengthen her. The Lord will strengthen her in her body, in her spirit. Oh Lord, strengthen her. Send strength. Send strength. Send healing. Send strength. In the name of Jesus. Is somebody pray for her. See, we are praying now. I'm not hearing your voice. We are praying for her now. I'm not hearing your voice. Lift up your voice and pray for her. In the name of Jesus, let God let your healing get you. Let it fall upon them. You are the God of our healer. Heal the body, heal their soul, heal the spirit. In the name of Jesus, who go heal this God? Who go heal this sister? Oh God, I pray. All that you have written to us, who will heal you? Heal them in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe that God has confirmed the healing in the life of this person. Say it louder, amen. Amen. Now, somebody has written here. This prayer request is a very is a very thick one. He says, please pray for me that this cup should pass over me. This cup should pass amen. over me. Ah. When you talk about a cup, I may not understand the depth of uh, that prayer request. But let me quickly explain it the way I think it may look like. When you say a cup to pass over you, is a cup of indignation. It's a, it's a cup that is overladen. Every cup, every experience. Somebody is going through something that is about to... Uh, that is about to uh, be pronounced. So, will it be pronounced well? Will it be pronounced bad? Somebody is at the point of imbroglio. Is at the point of confusion. Somebody did not know what to do. But, but somebody wished that uh, 
I wish this thing is better than this. I wish there is a righteous judge. I, I, wish, I wish there is a righteous decision. I wish God can pull me out. I, I wish God can step into this man. I wish God can just help me. He said, let this cup pass over me. That is divine intervention. We want to pray for this person, him or I, that God will intervene in his matter. God will intervene in a matter. Please open your mouth and pray for this person. Almighty Father, we bring all this right time before you. Oh, no, my God. You are the beginning and the end. You are the God to go to the Let this come up. Let this come up. Let it pass. Let it pass. Let it pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let it pass. 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 Amen. Let's just continue to pray before he comes back. Let's continue to pray that all the prayer requests, the Lord will answer in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Every prayer request, the way you are having upon your hand, the Lord will answer. The Lord will answer. The Lord will answer. The Lord will answer. The Bible says that the desire of the righteous have been granted. Open your mouth and pray. Just we have request. There's something you want God to do for you. Open your mouth and pray. Every of my heart desire, who God answer, who God answer, who God answer, who God answer. The Lord said, He said, Come upon me. He said, I will answer you. He said, I will, I will answer you. I will feel great and mighty things. We down the west now. Open your mouth and pray. Every request, whatever is God doing you, He will say, Tell me to God in prayer. Are you God in an every living? Tell to God in prayer. Don't you know that thing? He said, I must say Jesus. I must say Jesus. Jesus can help me. Jesus can help me. Jesus can help you, brother. See, Jesus can help you, sister. Whatever you are passing through, we are tell Jesus. We are tell Jesus. We are tell Jesus. Over to the pastor that boy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we bless and we worship you because you are our God. And thank you, Holy Spirit, because we have brought our request before you. We bring it before you because we know that you have power, the ability, the capability to answer our prayer. My Lord and my Father, I pray, let this cup of indignation, let it pass over this person in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My Lord, I pray that whenever sickness reside here, I command sickness and pack your Lord and leave that body in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every lion that is standing before you, every power of darkness standing before you, standing against your success, I command now that that power will fall. It will fall to the ground in the name of Jesus. Every Amen. altar that is set up for you, I command the fire of God to come now. That the fire of God will burn that altar, will destroy that image, will destroy the enchanter in the name of Jesus. Everyone in bondage will pray now that they will be set free. They will be loose in the name of Jesus. Lord, I believe you have answered our prayer. And I thank you because it is done already. In Jesus' righteous name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, the the man said in the book of chapter I mean Luke, the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 38. The Bible said, So he called out. He said, Jesus, son of David, have 
mercy on me. I was listening to uh, some of the um, the writer of some of the those worldly musicians in Nigeria yesterday, and uh, he, the person that they were interview uh, said uh, one of them sang uh, anonymous rigba that he totally received mercy. Then he mentioned about two of them. He said uh, he totally received. Mercy. My mind was not there, although somebody like me I always been praying for mercy. Then this morning, as I came, the Bible, I was thinking of what I'm going to use that we should be praying. Then that thing just struck my mind that it's mercy uh, I received. And I, I look at the any person that is blind, financially, it can never be okay. When we are talking about those people who blind, the only person with that issue of his, Madame Teresa, if I'm correct, that blind, and then they ask him, ah, uh, what can you say? He said, I'm only pity those people who have eyes, but they cannot see. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are going to see in Jesus' name. Amen. If somebody is blind, look at the business. How can he survive? How can he take care of his family? How can he survive ritually? How can he read Bible? Yes, we can add about Pastor uh, Pastor uh, Obadari during his own time. But after him, we can see that we read. Anyway, we still have about David uh, Wonder, somebody like that too. But you can never compare it when somebody is blind spiritually. Uh, when one is blind spiritually, he's totally blind. And then, but this man look at himself. He look at him. Said, "I'm blind. I'm begging for money. I can't even go and take my shower myself. I can't even half wife. I cannot do this. I cannot do that." He now decided in his mind. He said, "Father, Jesus, have mercy on me." We will now look at all areas we have been blind, financially, materially, spiritually. And we have been coming to prayer meeting almost every day. Some of us, we have never missed this prayer meeting throughout this year. Still, we are still expecting God that in all layers we are blind. We are not able to touch what we need to promote or to promote our family that Almighty should take, take it away and have mercy upon us. I will now want you to call upon your name, upon the name of the Lord. Look at yourself. In which area? The blindness is affecting, affecting me. Spiritually, I cannot achieve this. Materially, I have not achieved this. Uh, socially, I have not achieved it. Physically, I have not achieved this. We will call upon the name of the Lord. Father, this morning, have mercy upon me and set me free and let me see in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. What is that that particular thing that is worrying you? have not getting to your defense. You have not even moved nearer where your Lord wants you to be. Because we are in lots of prophecies from the Bible, from your pastor, even from, from all our leaders here. But see, we are still running. See, I'm sure the power is not there for people and say you and they go to there and then they go. The power has not there that you will look at your account. No, it's one is it one hundred thousand naira you need? I will give you ninety thousand naira. I go and look for you ninety thousand naira. Even your family, the children are not able to eat fully. Only what you are asking them is as they eat. Financially, you are limited. I'm limited. Physically, there's something that's in that's causing our hindrances. 
and we are just nursing it like that. Many of us we are counting a prayer as a routine. Bye we just pray, we don't expect any result. We just want to know that we are praying. There is no something specific, there is something special that happened to us throughout the year. We are sitting there, we are praying. We go to church, we go to all other committees. See, there is nothing. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. As that black man said, the Bible says, You shout unto the Lord, my dear sister, about your child. My dear mother, about your child. Husband, about your husband, about your wife. Why? About you receive mercy when I mention the name of the musician I'm talking about. That receive mercy. You know what I'm saying. The Lord receive mercy. Out of the children of David, you see what happened. Abraham received mercy. In the land among all his family, you see, you see what happened. On my business, Gloria Jamie, Gloria, I want more. Don't let me down. I try, 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 try. Yeah, don't let me down. I know the plan, but yet I cannot execute it. Don't let me down. I will finish the second day together. We finish the last day We finish the university together. But look at where he is. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, you that have mercy upon yourself, let mercy fall upon me. Holy mercy, only mercy can. Oh, my 
We speak into our life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. 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 Do not forget to let us continue to share, uh, share all our program, and God will bless us in Jesus' name. Especially when we are doing our program during the week, you can make something. 
to fighting people, God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall meet tomorrow on the garden of the eagle. And then let's do all we can do to be together. God will help us. Let's start the grace together. Uh, praise the Lord before the grace, please. Just give me one minute. A minute, please. Praise the Lord before the grace. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, yes. Uh, sorry for just coming in. Uh, we have one of our women coordinator in the studio of the platform. And uh, by the grace of God, I have her to the platform. She needs our prayers. I'm just saying this. She put a request on the platform. So please, her name is Mama Kabude. So please, I attack who he can I mention other people to actually meet her up in prayers. Please, let's respond to our prayer because I have pressure and all that things that associate with our situation. So please, uh, sister, sister Peace, you know about her, brother Pastor Peter, you know about her, Pastor Yomi, you know about her, uh, Pastor Chef, most of you, all of us, you know about her, please, she's on our platform, let's lift her up in our prayers as we see our request there with other people request. Second, when people drop their prayer request on the platform, let's all endeavor to respond to that prayer request, it's not more than two or three minutes, that's the main purpose of that prayer request platform, they God give us it. Amen. Let's share the grace. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us forevermore. Amen. You all live goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall do it in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. We meet tomorrow by the grace of the Lord. Thank you. God bless you.